It's Dave. So sorry. So, like, I tried making this video before, but I had some, like, mental difficulties. <laughs> some mental difficulties. So let's see if we can, if we can, yeah. Plus, I was also getting really off topic. So I'm gonna, like, I guess I have to, like, save questions for the end. Save questions for the end. As well, stop doubting myself, because that happened. <laughs> I was doubting what augments I really wanted on this guy, but, um, no, I've done all the testing. Really, I think that this is the most ideal setup for Raiden. Oh, hi there, whoever so, like, joined. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. But, um, yeah, like, I'm redoing this video because, like, it was taking too long and I just want to get through it. So yes, I feel like the only ability that really supports the AI's behavior is Storm Cell. Everything else is just kind of really situational or, or does not add to the combo effect. So Storm Cell, when you amplify it, it pops up the dude for some damage. And you can go in for a combo, which is great. So it complements well with 30 combos. Now, I was having some difficulty deciding on between Reversal or Rushdown. And the first time I made this video, I had it with Rushdown. But I've gone back to Reversal. I mean, 414 combos are capable with both. But I feel like there is greater survivability with Reversal. But yeah, I just keep on changing my mind. If I keep on changing my mind... That's okay. That means that you can too. So if you feel like you have a better idea of how to distribute these AI points, go ahead. Or if you feel like there's better abilities that complements your AI, go ahead. But I feel like Storm Cell, as well as 30-30 combos and reversal, is the best. Okay, so this is where I had some real difficulty in this first video, was with this augment situation. So one of the things that I discovered in between Attempt 1 and Attempt 2 is that truly the global damage buffs are what you need most for most damage. So I was contemplating going with two of the Storm Cell um, augments. Like, I don't have the two of the best tier I have, like, one of the mid-tier ones, but it doesn't, it, it just doesn't increase global damage enough. So this global damage increase is really what's best for any AI build or character that you go forward with. This is what I've discovered. So yes, I've gone with Livewire, which boosts the one ability that we have. Ionized Path, it doesn't matter if he uses Lightning Strike or not. It's the global damage that we're worried about. As well, I have like these two augments here on the medallions. It, it, it doesn't matter really what it's buffing for for the specific ability. We're going for the most global damage increase. So the one augment that he has that actually really amplifies his damage output is this Stormborn augment. And from what I can tell, it is the highest tier version of this augment. So whenever he uses Storm Cell and amplifies the attack, everything else that he does to the opponent is going to be um, increased by 12% more damage. Now, um, it's not like it's not like a static increase throughout the whole match. It's only when the opponent is in the air. So this is very situational, but it does allow for better damage numbers to come out of Raiden. So um, this is the first variation of Raiden that I've kind of created here. And we're gonna test them out on very hard. Oh God, I really hope he performs. We're gonna test them out on very hard. He's busy consulting on very hard, and we're gonna see how he does. So, mind you, 30-30 combos reversal, just one ability, Storm Cell. As well, the most important augment is for his hat. It is a soul augment called Stormborn. So hopefully we're gonna see all of this happen here. Hopefully he won't take too much damage. Oh, this dude broke away. Okay, come on. Oh no, he used the lightning strike. 
and he used some stupid lightning strike. He used the, he's using this the wrong attack. I fucking hate you, Raiden. See, now he doesn't have any meter to amplify that attack. What on earth is he doing? At least he's surviving on very hard. This is one of the things that, um... Like, to get those max damage numbers, yeah, you need to make sure that the opponent doesn't have any meter to break away, you yourself have the appropriate amount of meter to amplify, and, yeah, sometimes it just doesn't go in your favor. But, ultimately here, Raiden is surviving on very hard. And he doesn't have any physical resistance augments. Which is surprising, because I because he does have those options, Dragon Blood Physical Resistance Augments, to slot on there, but ultimately you have to make a choice. Do you want the Physical Resistance, or do you want the Damage Increase? And I feel like the Damage Increase for Raiden is definitely helpful. Please do your combo. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> Aw, oh, shit. Oh shit, okay. Oh, oh god, Raiden. Break away, douchebag. <laughs> He's gonna die. Wow, Sindel is just owning him. Wow, okay, so very hard. Those, those dreams are gone. Dreams are gone. Yep, he's dead. Okay, so let's put him on medium. <laughs> So, I mean, uh, I did test him out, like, multiple times on very hard. The, he doesn't go too far. He's not like Cassie or Noob or, or anything like that. But, um, let's, wait, I'm going to the wrong place. Let's get to a tower. I want to put him in a towers of time. Hopefully he'll pull off his 414 damage combo. Damn. Those very hard situations are very hard. Very hard. Okay, so, let's go here. Thankfully, there's a tower here. Um, Raiden. Please do your combo. But, I mean, the goal here is that the AI is able to get through Towers of Time without using consumables. Because, ultimately, that's what you would want from an AI workhorse. Something that would just be able to yield you results without actually having to do much. Wow! The damage is crazy with this, um... Wow! 434 damage! Wow! That must be because, um, Terminator is also taking damage as well as we're going through this. Wow! 434? Yeah, that must be because he's taking damage as we're going along the battle. Wait, let's look at his health bar. Yeah, he's constantly taking damage. So 434 isn't representative of what you would normally see in another tower, but that's a pretty good number. Yay! Raiden! But yeah, it's unfortunate that he doesn't do the very hard as well. But I do see that there's a lot of augments for AI battle, which would help him out. Which would help him out. But the goal of this video is to just keep it to single player and co-op. Single player and co-op. Flawless victory. But um, I'll take that flawless victory. Yes, it's very nice. Very nice. So hopefully Raiden can do the same thing, and. I find, like, if you do equip him with other abilities, it takes away his Superman fly attack, which I think is so powerful. It is definitely powerful. Round one. Fight. Hey, wow, she broke away right away. That would be 401 if she wasn't taking damage along the way. Wow, okay, so there was a fatal blow. This is gonna hurt. Mega gonna hurt. Wow, look at these damage numbers. What a fucking bitch. What, what the hell kind of evil modifier is this? <laughs> what is this modifier? Growing stronger. Deal increased damage while taking... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So that's why her fatal blow is so powerful. 
Scammer Raid and Joe drop their combos. So as you can see, the AI is very finicky. Very finicky. And I experimented with putting, like, just a little bit into grappling and keeping, like, the majority in reversal or a little bit in rushdown. And it just makes the AI too finicky. This is the problem I noticed with a lot of these, like, regular characters on the main roster. Their AIs perform just completely differently in comparison to, like, the DLC characters. It's very easy to make them do what you want them to do with those DLC characters in comparison to Raiden. Like, Noob, Sonya, Jax, Frost, their AIs are all better than Raiden. Even Katana. Katana's better than this. I just, I don't get it. Raiden. Raiden, do your damn combos. He just, he just dropped it. He dropped it, then there was a breakaway. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. He didn't get over 400. But, I mean, you can see that he's getting over 300, which is good. Good? Because it's more than a fatal blow. More than his fatal blow. The other thing I noticed, too, it's very hard to make Raiden pull off his fatal blow. Like, I gave him Orb of the Dragon thing, and it was just not happening. Well, there's a 430 combo. I mean, he gets the damage numbers, but it's the consistency that's the problem. 30-30 reversal allows for more survivability. These wonderful, flawless victories. But, um... Yeah. To get the consistent damage numbers, it, it really does need to be in rush down. So you have to make the decision. Do you want the damage numbers, or do you want the survivability? And I've gone with survivability. I might change my mind tomorrow. <laughs> yes. That's, that's one of the good things about these AI builds. Like, you can always change your mind. Suit your mood. Suit your mood. So, that's just, I hope like I showed off that he can do some crazy things 400 plus numbers with this first variation but I've made a second variation as well now this is meant for co-op meant for co-op um once again I think that Raiden got the short end of the stick he doesn't have enough physical resistance augments like Sonya or Cassie or Jackie or Devora. Um, I mean, at least he has some physical resistance augments, which is more than some other characters. But, um, yeah, they don't really work in a synergistic way, I find. So the best augment that I find here is the hat. It's called Free the Lightning. It's a chaos augment. It causes spike damage. And spike damage in this game is broken. It extends beyond your character. So, i.e., if you pair Raiden up with another character who does not have spike damage for a tag team match, they will have that spike damage effect as if they had that augment. But no, it's not their augment, it's Raiden's augment. So, I like using this augment. However, there are, like, options. Like, you could have also gone with um, these augments here. These augments here provide a 10% physical resistance, and I found that they are the most physical resistances that he can get for the hat. But oh, I feel like spike damage is better than the physical resistance. So wait, let's put on the hat again. There we go. Yeah, so the staff, there are really not a lot of options. So I went with the same, the same one that I have from the previous build where it's just the most amount of global damage increase that I'm getting. However, for the medallion, I've gone for these physical resistance increases because, I mean, I am sacrificing 1% of global damage, but I'm gaining 30% physical resistance, which is significant, which is pretty significant when you're in a co-op tower. So let's get into co-op and use this 
Miss Raiden. Mind you, I'm not skilled. I, I don't really know how to play with any other character besides Jade. Jade is my main. But, um, I'm hoping to demonstrate that he is capable? Capable? Um, let's also make it easier and tag his moves on the screen. <laughs> because I don't know any of his moves. Okay, so, um, let's, uh, Terminator. Terminator. Yes. Terminator will always save the day, so let's bring him along. So, if you know anything about these Terminator augments, he has spike damage as well. So, we're going to see, like, increased, increased spike damage with Raiden, which is great. Which is great. Um, if you ever do have difficulties with solo, I mean, with um, co-op towers, would recommend using your main first and solo tag using both characters as your main. If you still have difficulties, definitely rely on augments. Augments are so much fun. Okay, so let's get the move list. So, can I tag... Can I tag this shit? No. I can't tag in here. This is bullshit. How the hell am I supposed to remember all of this stuff? <laughs> okay, so what I really need to remember is this lightning storm. This is... So it's just the teleport. Teleport Why bullshit. Fight? Okay. Okay. No! No, don't hurt me, bitch. <laughs> this is hard. Ow! I need that health. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I should block low. That came too late. Um, Billy. It's not this teleport. Give me this teleport, bitch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Stupid Raiden. Stupid Sonya. Okay, so here we have Terminator. At least Terminator's gonna pick up this one easy. Oh, bitch! <sighs> but I mean, if you're a Raiden main, definitely consider augmenting him. But I don't think that his augments are powerful enough to, um, carry anyone with low skill. If you are low skill like me, I don't think you can carry anyone with him. But if you're good with Raiden, why not? Get away from me. There we go. Now she's dead. Damn it. Damn it, that's so hard. So, um, yeah, like, I hope I demonstrated that I was able to do something with Raiden. I mean, I'm not good with him, but I got her down to half health. Uh, I would say that the augments for spawn for co-op are more fun, because you can definitely do more. Definitely do more. Yeah, Raiden. Buff Raiden. If anything, this video should prove that Raiden needs a buff. He definitely needs a buff. To everything, his attacks, his frames, his augments, please, yes. Um, more physical resistance augments would have been great. I grinded him for a long while, mm, probably about five days. Was trying to get uh, a physical resistance augment that could go into the staff. Because, I mean, like, there are for the medallion and the hat, but it just does not seem to exist. He's limited, so limited with his choice of augments. It's sad, so sad. So, um, I like Cassie more. I like Noob more. I like Devora more. I like Frost more. Frost does this better than, than, than Raiden for sure. Um, uh, mm, mm. But I mean, at least he can do 400 plus combos. 430 plus combos. Was very happy to see that. So, I mean, he's good for something, I guess. Like, killing Liu Kang or Kung Lao. Yes, he's good at doing that kind of shit. Killing people. Why on earth did he fry Frost's brain? Like, I feel like that's so evil. Why are you so evil, Raiden? But yes, I hope that was, like, clear, informative, helpful. I mean, I, I tried digging for as much as I could find on Raiden, but... 
this is this is where I'm left at. So I hope that um, you go have fun with Raiden, go experiment with him. Hopefully, uh, you can do more combos than I with him. Yeah, that would be fun. But um, yes, uh, like a like, a comment, a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Please let me know what you think of Raiden. I try really hard with these things to make them good, but um, I mean, like sometimes I'm limited by the tools that I have such as the case with Raiden. But yes, um, yes, until next time, like, stay safe, stay healthy, self-isolate, yes, all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, God bless you, thank you again, bye, peace.